Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Yoshuli back with another video, and today we're gonna be doing some weapon ADC, but it won't be just any ADC um, weapon build. It's gonna be like kind of like a burst assassin build that I do want to try him out. I have thought about doing like a mage version of kind of like a burst mage kind of build but i just kind of found the mage i was not work as well on revenant whereas um i think there's a lot better ad items or physical items that actually works a lot better for a burst build so we're gonna be trying that out um i mean i'm a little bit tend to do all this but i think this item is not as consistent as i like it to be i kind of like the idea of doing marksman quest because the pacifier is going to be great for chasing down people getting that last auto and also spacing and if i have to go dip into liberator i can definitely do that right so we're going to be picking up malady first and then the second item that's going to be quite different is what i'm going to do inferno which does proc really consistently well by the way like your q actually procs inferno instantly so we want to combine that for a burst adc build so i think that's something we definitely they want to try 100% this game ladies and gents go with the Q first and it's a pencil and perky so it's kind of a little stack lobby so it's gonna be kind of fun 100% to see how this plays out I'm gonna actually go through it here So the way we want to do webnet is we want to try to go for the good trades with like the um webnet kit. But the problem is I have a knob badge on um, support, so he's gonna be able to really heal and keep the um Murdoch very healthy if I do say so myself. So it might be a little tricky. Okay, I messed up my all a little bit. I haven't played webnet in five minutes, so I need to try to get used to playing um the webnet again. When we try to use our Q, we want to try and use it in front of the wave so the wave do the Q doesn't hit a whole bunch of like the wave, right? If we're trying to use it within the wave, then it's gonna like... Um... Uh, nice try. I was hoping to land a stun because that would be a really great opportunity, but that's actually a-okay. 100%. But because weapon is kind of a scaling ADC, so we kind of want to just play into that anyways. If we can get early kills to snowball, that'd be actually great. If not, it is what it is. I'm mm, gonna kind of push up, so I'd be a little bit mindful of that, right? I think we just saw a jungler on the blue side. Oh, it kind of went back to spawn, I can't tell. Actually not a bad trade at all. The minions were able to add, um, aggro onto the motor can get some good damage on. That's great for us, but we need to be mindful of health, our health bar. And not much is getting low already, so... That's good, that's good. Because we can bully them out early because not bad healing has the time to scale up. And we see the jungler right there, so we're trying to be a little bit mindful of that. So we actually kind of want to play a little bit back, a little show. So I'm going to try not to push out this wave. Nice, that's a really good stun right there. Let's go. Love to see, we love to see. I have a feeling this book is still on this side, so I'm gonna be going to be a little mindful of that, just a little, right? And yeah, there is the works. We might have to blink out, so I'm just gonna do a little whoopie do right here. 
Mm, not gonna be able to finish him off. I don't want to chase because I'm not sure where the ghost is at. Okay, the ghost is right there. So that's fine. Um, this Grux is very wanting to get this gold buff, so we probably just have to give it up and make sure we reset back on time, right? So we shall do that, grab these two items. I'm seeing a pretty good spot, all things considered. Um, our CS could be a bit better, I'll say that. But we can back in the hand of playing Revenant, because Revenant is so weird when it comes to CS and you have to really play him a lot to get used to last hitting on him because of his like reload mechanics. So we just need to try to get back into that and then we'll be fine. The gold buff is still up, but I don't think we should force it. I think we can actually force it. I think that wave is crashing, so we just need to bust this down. Yep. See how they're still handling the wave right there. Very good stuff. Hmm. Yeah, the the knock bash is rotating over. Uh, not just which we. Yeah, it looks like we are backing up. The wave is pushing back into us. That's great stuff. Great stuff. It's a big wave, so I don't want to um, trade just yet. That's very good sun, but you see the big wave, so I just didn't have that angle. I wasn't stepping up enough for that. But I do like the aggression, 100%. No not bad stun right there. Nice. And right now we're just taking our time um, freezing the wave, just last hitting, trying to stone them off from it. Because we're going to try to win through the CS game, not necessarily getting kills on repeat, right? But the Modoc's pushed all the way back. I think I'm losing some CS here and there actually. So that's, oh, it's XP I mean, so that's actually very great. She's sort of looking, so I'm trying to step up with her, but while also trying to um, latch it on this way. Oh, I messed up that. We got the blink, yeah. He actually got scared, but I don't think he was on the kill threat because I think my Q didn't quite land on him as well because the wave just came in, as you guys saw. Knockback is very ooh, and that Q does land on him. Nice, nice. Nice. We're able to get the kill with the. Um, Deco combo right there. We love to see it, guys. We love to see it. 100%. Um, I kind of want to back, but we see where the Grux is at, and we see the combo invading, so we can kind of keep pushing because we have the lane fire on this side. Oh, I am not there at all. I think he's a kind of gone there. We're just too far away. Deco can rotate, but I'm. I'm look I have the backup. I have like no mana whatsoever. Oh, I'm we low too early. There we go. Have enough formality, so I'm gonna say be right back. Oh maybe I should have pushed in because the mod like did rotate over there for that. But I definitely am maximizing my gold right now, so we take what we get 100%. Um, let's go grab in front of them second. We have Maldi, that's great because we can start stacking this up 100%. And they don't have that much CC, so I can actually go for the pacifier. So I can really kind of kite people away or kind of burst down people. Mm, 
Hm. Oh, I have a bit. My thing. My aiming is very sloppy right now. 100%. I just. I probably just have enough burst damage right there, too. I try to go for it, I, but I just don't quite know, like, the damage output of, like, the, um, uh, weapon right there. So that's kind of my bad right there. So I'm actually gonna put war right there. Just so it just if a mid lane is kinda trying to sit right there, we can see that person. Well that's low, I just need a good deck of stun. So we might be able to combo hurt him. So I'm see if I can face this out. I don't want to blink after that. It's tempting, but I'll take a reset right here. Just because I'm really low, I don't want to like die die kind of thing because I'm kind of overextending. Um, I definitely maybe could got the kill if I land some more shots and then I can blink in quickly. I just didn't feel confident enough to do that. But that is doing a good job wearing them down. I can always hold on to my blink, so when I actually really need to get out, I have it, right? <laughs> I need him to kite towards here. Nice stuff, 100%. Modak has it back yet, so I mean, as long as we're mindful of where this Grux is at, we can probably finish him off. He back up all the way. Um, that means we can do a little bit of DPS to his torrent. Because we just have a lot of map pressure right now, 100%. So, let's actually back off because we see the Grux kind of. Uh, he's actually kind towards of it, so. I'm, I'm not gonna go for the gold buff. This. Grux is actually trying to run us down all the way, so we just have to back off and respect the Grux just being around the corner, right? I mean, maybe we can take this down really quickly just because the way the posh I don't think anyone is actually coming in. There we go. Yeah, we snuck it in. See the Grux on the super camp right there. I still have my blink, so as long as I can. Keep an eye out and respect the Grox being right in that spot. I should be totally fine. And I, that Grox is actually right around the corner. I can keep walking away right here. So I use my eye because. Ultimate is very good for if you want to just get that way. I have to all one of them is walk away because my blink is way more valuable. So I, I did a good job pointing onto it. And the, the model is a little chunk right there, right? So I don't know. Oh, oh shoot, he's actually fine. So I have to follow up. An allied tower is destroyed. Nice. Very good follow up right there. I think he yeah, has a pain too, it's right here. I'm just gonna get this push in all the way. Only person about to be mindful of it's a Mogish. I don't have ultimate, all blink, so she could um, do some DPS down to us. So, getting him coming now would be very good, right? We need him to kind of zone him up. There we go, retreat. I'm very oomph, I don't want to fight. 
And we're gonna be a little short on Fona, but if my farm was a bit better, I'd probably have it enough already, but um, we just have to just take it back right here and eat it up. So definitely I'm going pacify so we can actually finish off people much more efficiently and have that way to be able to kite people out because against the Grux especially, um, we can actually out kite them using the pacify quickly as long as we do see him coming in and we can space accordingly. So, I'm up on CS on the Murdoch. Ideally, I should be um, about trying more CS up, but we take what we get. I think we're strong enough to a point where we can actually um, burst him down if we really want to. Oh, he she's all right there, so that's kind of my bad. But we able to just finish off right there, nice and easy. Nice job. So we can actually just keep shoving this out then, by the looks of it, just because so we can have a lot of pressure map on this side. I'm by myself though, so maybe I have to be maybe I have to back off. I don't know where the Grux is at. And yeah, they're all right that the Mokish is missing too. So we, we see where the Grux is at, but we don't see where the Mokish is at. So I might actually help Siege mid then potentially. So I'll just kinda hover um okay. Thanks, we got it, we can back off. So I have enough fun from them, so I think I'll just take the early back because all the waves are pushing. And I think getting that from the park would be a good power spike because um, this is going to help us do way more burst damage that we want right now. So definitely let's grab in front of them. And let's start building into um, our Vanquisher. The Decker is actually doing good. Um, she's doing the smart thing with rotating around catching waves because I'm strong enough to the point where I should be fine by myself ideally. It just means that when the Decker is rotating, I just have to keep a close eye on the map. And if I feel like there's people missing and they might be looking at me and by myself, that's when I just back off. Right? I just have to play on the safe farming side is what we're trying to do right now. Mogus is on the mini farm. Too early. There we go. See the works on that side. So I mean, I have ultimate, so I could just still go for the kill if I get, if Mola steps up a little bit too much. But we see the Mogish. Maybe we can catch it off guards. It really depends if we can find it, right? <clears throat> but we see the works right there, so we have to actually back off. I don't want to really dodge the Mogish, I just want to respect her presence um, if she's kind of looking like that, right? So, we need a ward right there, and then I think we can be fine with pushing. So I do want to catch this wave, but... Oh, I missed that CS, unfortunately. Okay, the Mogish is coming over, so we just back off. Cause she saw she sees that we are pushing in, so hmm, that's a fake bomb by the looks of it. Yeah, we just have to we just play on the safer side. Um, this is it's costing me CS, but at least I'm not like dying because I have a bounty on me. I think people actually want to try to get me. Nope, no bash is clean woods. So definitely, um, they're trying to do the fainters pretty soon, so that means we have to be extra, extra safe, right? There's a ward mm -hmm. right there. Hmm. And there's a ward right there as well. So... I guess I'm gonna go to defend mid, because that wave is crashing in.
We don't have any vision on it. It's a big, big thing, right? Yeah, I think they're actually looking for a pick first. We need to be a little careful. She blink out, that's fine. We just go straight on the thing too. I think my Infernum Park actually killed the Grux right there. So we are getting some value out from them already. So team is popping up. We love to see it, ladies and gents. So I'm going to be looking to get this T2 tower push in. Oh, got the kill on the Modoc, very good stuff. My CS is still short, says. Oh my goodness. I really need to play a lot more weapon games so my CS will be doing much, much better than what it is right now. Um, This is actually a little risky. I have ultimate and I have my bling, so I'm not like... I have tools to get out if things are looking sketchy, right? I can But... I'll just kind of shove that in and just look to reset then at this point. Enemy tower Cause that is a mogus that was looking right there. I have 400 more gold I do want to um, try to farm up so I might be still farming out here just a little bit longer. Let's get some deep boards right here and catch that wave. The gold buff is coming up. I think if I clear this wave and get the gold buff then I have enough for in front of them. Oh no, for Vanquisher if I... Uh, I reload too early again. I think that the buffer where I, I try to do a click and then reload, but I think the reload sometimes come out faster. It's a thing I'm not used to. Okay, so I have just enough for Fanquisher. This help us like be able to execute people without abilities when they get low. So this is kind of like the cold build I was going for, like these three items. After that, that's where you have a bit more flexibility, I would say, and what you want to build. So I might be going for like Death Stalker. Just a, it's a very good item to go on Revenant anyway, so I might go that force. I do want to see if I can get the execution off on the Mola because I have my tools to be able to lock onto him. He has his blink, but I might blink after him. And look at that, the Infernum Vanquisher Park is the tech latent just. You saw how like my Infernum Park actually executed him right there. So it's very, very good in being able to finish off people just like that, ladies and gents. Um, so I'm actually gonna catch this wave. It's gonna take me too long to go to there, so I might as well throw this out. I think my wave is gonna push back anyways. A lot of fighting's going over there. I'm not there unfortunately, but I think I can maybe go for the T2 on this right side. Because getting that early T2 might actually be very beneficial for us. I think there's still hardcore buying over there. Um, mode is coming in. Uh, Mokish is looking at me, I think. But I got, luckily, I got the towel. He's, he's not moving there immediately, so I think I can actually take this reset really quick. So I'll just do that. Because. Because the Graystone is bringing a lot of armor. I kind of want to. Hmm, this is actually a little tricky what I want to do. Hmm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to still think guys what I want to do. I think it's not bad at all. I think I'm gonna just commit to this more assassin build, so let's go with Deathstalker. 100% right here. 
Because I was thinking maybe I can go for sustain, maybe I can go for something else, but I think I want to make sure I'm grabbing items I know is very, very potent for more burst damage, and Death Stalker is definitely that item, I think. Because it's going to be a good all in one item, doing more damage, but also being able to um, reduce the armor for like against like the Grux and Grace Zone, or even Knock Bash in that case. I'm trying to get come up. We see the Mogesh maybe coming over. Okay, she is coming over right there. Oh dang. Not able to connect right there, so I used my pacifier. I didn't got a range on her right there. But we are bullying them out 100%. Nice. I think we want to go for the fainters, but um, main mouse way over there, so. Why is he playing so much? Wow. Wow, that's my bad then, because I saw a lot of fighting happening over there, so I assume more people on that side, but they're all actually just hovering us right there, so that's my bad, ladies and gents, it's only my bad. Hmm. So that's a big shutdown I gave to, what was it? Um, I think the works, so not ideal. Um, I guess I was over pushing right there, but I, I seriously thought we were fine, because I just saw a lot of action going on, but... I guess it was only for that one person on that left side. So we all getting picked up one by one. Um, at least this... We have the frame to the van still. We're just not gonna get the third one. Actually, they're not doing that yet. You see what Grush is out. He's not actually doing that just yet, so... Hmm. We might be able to still do his frame to Because I'm coming up. Grush has to back first, so... I think we just have to play around the... Um, Gideon, 100%. Because this is one opportunity we might be able to get some picks, like on this Grux for example, because he is getting low. And right there, we just execute him right on the spot. And we execute him on the spot as well. So, very awesome stuff. This is definitely a faint tooth I've ever seen one myself. Very nice stuff. That's the third painter. That's huge, ladies and gents. Absolutely huge. And that's a big wave. Oh my god. We'd love to see the double cannon wave, ladies and gents. Gotta love it as an ADC, especially. But I only get one, sadly. Unlucky. Again, I'm not used to the um, all attacking <laughs> reload style of Revenant. So I'm definitely missing some EDCS right there. We're gonna definitely just back immediately go for Death Stalker. That's gonna be very, very big for us. So, last item, I think we maybe go for Demarsha, do more bonus, I think we go for Demarsha, or we can do something interesting, and that is, there's a certain item that slows people, because Perforator actually works on Revenant Q, so I Revenant Q someone, and they're like pumping slow on all the missiles they're taking, so I think we're just gonna go with that as the last fun item this game, 100%. I see the Grux right there, so I want to make sure I can get the kill without him interrupting, so we got a nice double kill right there, that's huge. Can we maybe execute this Grux? I think we can just push in. Oh my god, we obliterate him. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh, it isn't <laughs> Oh, man. Pins are not like this. Wow, everyone's just blinking on us today, guys. 
Dang. Everyone is just blinking on top of us, guys. There's only so much an ADC can do when they all blink on you like that. But I think we sent a very good message, and that is we actually are doing insane amounts of burst damage. We love to see you guys. We love to see you 100%. So, I think in terms of damage wise, it is better to go like the um, Demolisher. But I just really like, I think it's really fun item that I want to try out that you don't see on Revenant every day. So we still get the physical penetration, we just get that utility in slowing down people. Which I think is going to be really fun if we can abuse that, right? So we might be able to like kill some people in our front of the face to get slow and maybe that gives us some more spacing to get away right there. So I think we're trying to go for picks. Oh, that's huge. That's the mortgage pick. Oh, I think they're all fighting, fighting. So I might have to start to hover just in case, right? So I'm actually gonna go my way mid because I want to try um see if we can knock down the inhibitor soon. That's huge. Ah, uh, not quite able to get him right there because he blinked out. But we are gonna get the inhibitor, which is way more point at the end of the day, anyways. So we're actually going to go see our way left after a huge wave pushing in, so we can actually really help out. Huh? Mm, we are going for a lot of aggressive power diving right there. We actually need to be careful. Mm, I think we back off. That no flash healing is actually going to heal them back up. Because that great zone is actually way more tankier than I thought it would. Because it's been like some while, a bunch of like very heavy physical items, right? So I think we just keep walking out. Because mid is pushing in by itself. Um, question is, are they actually gonna go for the prime? Oh, uh, they're on the prime. They're on it. Mm, I have ultimate in ten seconds. I. We just back off because we just don't have the numbers or a healthy t enough time mail to do that unfortunately so we just have to like just give it and look to um push out the waves and whatnot just we just have to fight that are they still doing it because the grace one got okay now they're doing it I mean, maybe they might still hang around a little bit, and maybe we can get a pick. So we might just play around the mortgage. Wait, can we get the Glux? Oh, what? he's actually getting caught out. I don't want to help that. Huge, but I think she's dead, right? Mm. I'm gonna actually go my way right. I wanna see if I can maybe knock down the inhibitor. I don't think we can force a primal. I don't have. I don't think we have enough DPS, and I think it's too risky to uh, flip that objective. So let's go do something that's more safer, and that's going for the inhibitor push right here. This mid is always gonna push out by itself, right? So I think we just have pressure on the map by pushing. So we got to push out. Uh, Mokish is coming open, so we just look to back off. Because we don't have to stop Primal, we just, we just gotta hover it essentially. Because the other lanes will keep pushing by itself. 
You have to catch the white wave. I'm gonna go catch the mid. They might try to force this soon, so we have to kind of hover, so I'm trying to scale them off, right? Uh, I think they're trying to force it. I don't know. Uh, unless I think the park is getting voiced by the little bit. Hmm. I think they are starting it. Or oh, rather, the. Okay, they haven't started yet. But they are trying to look for picks. Mmm, the Mokish got the pick on me. I should maybe just blink out instantly. I thought there was more people around to help out, but there wasn't enough. So that's, it's probably really bad that I die right there, but the jungler is there, so it's kind of one for one trade. I mean, Mokish had to blink for that. Mid lane still pushing in, Kali's split pushing, so as long as they keep them at bay, um, we can get the left inhibitor. This, I think we just need our team to stay alive long enough. And Mokish is trying to, like, Okay, nice. I think that could stop her. That's actually totally fine because we get the left inhibitor. Maybe she can end. I think she can end, maybe. It's gonna be close, but maybe she can force an end. Okay, not anymore because everyone came over. But that's good. We got the left inhibitor. We stopped it from doing the primal, which is a really big objective. Because that's honestly all fine, 100%. Cause I think the person to worry about the most is the Mogus cause I we have a lot of burst damage ourselves, but um I think she has a much easier time killing us first before we kill her, right? Allied tower under attack. So now we just go look at the primal, 100 percent Cause we have the left inhibitor pushing, mid one spawn back up. Oh man, I really wish I we spawn a little bit faster and stop his back because that would be a huge pick if I get get that on the Modog. Hmm, he's gonna go down right there. That's definitely not um the most ideal. Maybe she's gonna still push one last wave, so I'm hoping to maybe catch her off guard. But I think she's doing the smart thing. Wait, she's actually still around it. But he's getting healed up a lot by the not bad so she's not in kill range as much anymore um shoot i guess i just gotta hover we have the wild lane pushing in i don't know i i just someone needs to go defend left because he's gonna be pushing it in but it's still the mid Big inhibitors are working again, so I think we just go. F um, okay, I was thinking maybe go mid, but our team is rotating to this, so. Oh my god, that's a one more combo of the century, ladies and gents. I think we just end. We just end mid. Only the great stone's life. He's trying to make it push on the left side, but we just know him. We just end right here. Hundred percent. Along, like, all the claw needs to do is stop him from backing, and we just win this game, ladies and gents. Oh my god, that was a huge one more combo. That was looking a little scary, but that getting had a beautiful ultimate right there, and we're able to just clean up. Right there. Wow. GG's. Very good showcase if I do save myself of the Assassin um, Revenant build. And this is piloted by someone who doesn't play ADC, especially Revenant. So the fact that I'm able to pop off me on a off roll, popping off on this kind of quote unquote, um, not off meta kind of build, I think speaks volumes for itself, ladies and gents. Big fines for itself, ladies and gents. So, we almost have most damage in the game, but oh, obviously the mortgage mid lane, um, especially on someone that's a mid laner, um, that is perky, popular off with her. But um, 
still it's really hard to out damage a Mokish in the late game anyway. She just has a ton of free damage for the passive, and of course the right click is guaranteed. My Q is guaranteed, I guess, fine enough. But a lot of my damage comes from my autos as well, and how I plan position and whatnot. But yeah, very very solid showcase. I was actually very surprised to how effectively well this build works because I tried to practice too. It's kind of hard to tell in the steel, but I'm like, I think it's a spicy build anyways that I have to try out. And we were able to get some really spicy Inferno and Famicure combos for the Inferno is parking Famicure and then we're just able to execute people left and right because this is a very strong burst build so I think this is a really fun assassin build if you guys want to try something a little different on weapon than the normal crit build right so um I definitely have the full build on the description if you guys want to take a look at it again I think the um Perforator is a very fun item. I don't know if it's the best item necessarily, but I think it's not every day you can go Perforator on weapons. So I think it's just maybe it's actually very good if you can slow a bunch of people because your Q spreads out and all the people that get hit, they get slow. So maybe it's actually very good. Just haven't got as much fun time with it this game. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comments where the heroes, where the builds you want me to showcase. Thank you as always for all the amazing support and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.